Take five. Oh yeah, because I am that awesome, guys. Take five. Okay, so welcome up to an welcome to another jarred up January video. And that's what I keep stuttering on. That sentence right there. I don't know why it's such a mouthful. Um, but anyway. Today I am canning up some chocolate sauce. I feel very comfortable canning it because honestly, it's a simple syrup that I add cocoa powder to. Make sure it's a pure cocoa powder and it's not one that has additives in it because some of them do have additives in it. And don't use hot chocolate mix. I had somebody ask me that. They could use hot chocolate mix. Why? Why? Why would you want to? <laughs> Take your hot chocolate mix and make a hot chocolate. But anyway, <laughs> cocoa powder, pure cocoa powder, use that. Um, so don't forget that this is a Rebel Canning video, so if you do not like it, sorry, my kitchen. And what else do I need to spew out? I need to spew out something else. Oh, right, Angie's video was yesterday, don't forget. And tomorrow's video is Heather's, so don't forget to go check out Heather's video. And we will just get into the video now. Okay, so in my large stock pot, you want a large stock pot. I'm going to put in my three cups of water. I'm tripling the recipe. I'm going to put the recipe down below for just a single batch. And then that way you can just either make a single batch, put it in the fridge, or you can make a bigger batch as much as you want and can it up like I am. Okay, and I got my sugar and my cocoa powder all in there mixed up. I've already taken out all the lumps. I think you guys can see what I'm doing. And what we want to do is we want to bring this up to a boil. For, oops, sorry, for three minutes. Now it's gonna, it takes a couple moments to bring it up to a boil. But you, you want to make sure everything is stirred up real good. So we're gonna get this up to a boil and I'll bring you guys back. So, so far all I got in here is water, sugar, and cocoa powder. So I'll be right back in a second. Okay, so you can see I'm starting to come up. Oh, there we go, now I'm getting that rolling boil. You wanna do this for three minutes and for three minutes, and this is why you want a big pot. This, you can see it's already doubled in size. Um, you wanna do this for three minutes stirring the entire time. Do not walk away, okay? Do not. So stir for three consecutive minutes and we will be back in a second for you, three minutes for me. Okay, I have to start over because my battery died. I don't know where it died. Um, so turn it off and then you add an eighth of a teaspoon per batch. Get that stirred in there. And you want half a teaspoon of vanilla per batch. So I'm gonna add two capfuls because I ended up by adding, doing four batches here. So I'm gonna stick a batch in the fridge too. And also please be very careful with this because this is piping hot and it will burn you very easily. I don't know if you guys can see how high up that went. That's why you need a big pot for this. Okay, so let me get my jars out of the canner here because I have them sterilizing. I've had them sterilizing for probably almost an hour now. They're well sterilized and the water's nice and hot. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back in just a moment. Okay, so now I got my jars out. I have some of my jars out. I've got the syrup here, the chocolate sauce, chocolate syrup, whatever you call it. And we are just going to bottle this up. I always leave between half an inch and a quarter of an inch of headspace because I am never exactly precise on that. I do not know why. I am with certain things, but water bath canning, I'm horrible at it. I'm probably not the only one. Okay. And this does thicken up. You don't need to worry about that. Now I'm just going to wipe my rims. Get them nice and clean. 
made a mess on that one. Gonna put, yes, cause I gotta do it. Anybody else do that? I can't be the only one. Okay. Then we put our ring on it, and then it goes into the water bath canner. I can it for, ooh, that's hot. I can it for 20 minutes. Fudge, hot. That's really, really hot, okay. So into the water bath canner for 20 minutes and I'll bring you guys back when everything's done. And here we go. We got nine half pints of chocolate sauce to go down on the shelf and this jar here to go in the fridge once it has cooled down. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget this is classified as rebel canning and I'm going to put the uh, small version of the recipe. So if you want, you can just make it and pop it in the fridge. I just prefer to have it on my shelf. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.